Okay, this is a little splice cap. I'm going to slip this on. It's like a little sleeve. And I've already got the ground wires kind of isolated. I've got three small ground wires. I'm going to take this sleeve and if you just slide on a couple or just one, just like a little sleeve like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crimp this on. I'm going to push it way back there. I'm going to crimp it, fold one of these ground wires over it, and then I'm going to leave one, one tail coming out. I'm going to splice on another one. Okay, the reason why I'm going to put some splice caps on here is because I don't need six ground wires coming out of here, but I want to connect them all together. Now what they had in here before, a couple light switches, they had all, all of the wire nets uh, connected, all the wires connected on one wire net. Well, I'd have to have a huge wire net to connect six and then have three pigtails come out of it. So I'm not going to do that. So in this case, that, that's why I'm going to put those little splice caps on there. And uh, that way I'll have all three, all six of these connected, and uh, I'll have only three ground wires coming back out. It doesn't matter which ground wire goes to which switch, just so long as, as you have um, three ground wires coming out. But we want them all connected into the box. Okay, I'm going to put my first uh, sleeve on there. Before I do that, I'm just going to take a pair of pliers, and I'm going to twist these, and I'm going to twist this around just once, just to kind of keep these two together. And I'm going to slip my ground cap on, my splice cap, way back in the back of the box. I'm going to smash that on, cut one of these pieces off, just, to, just in front of the splice cap, and fold one side over, smash it down, and I'm going to have one piece sticking out. As you're twisting these together like this, don't twist too many times. If, don't think more is, is better than not enough. If you twist and twist and twist, you're going to break off one of these, you're going to lose the connection. So that's the worst thing you can do. Okay, I've got it back in there. I smashed that on there with a pair of pliers. Now I'm going to take my wire cutters, dykes, I'm going to cut off one ground wire, leaving about, oh, I don't know, an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch. Cut one of those off, and I'm going to flip that up with my pliers. You, it's, kind of, it's hard to see inside the box, so I'm, that's why I'm explaining it to you. I'm bending that up and I'm going to smash that down. That way if it ever gets loose, it's not going to come off. Okay, six ground wires have now become five. Push that kind of back down in there and I'm working with the smallest wires. So I'm trying to leave my longest pigtails, the ground wires, together. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing with these two. Okay, we're getting there. There's only there's four wires here, ground wires now. Okay, as you, as you saw before, we've got four. Now, this wire splice cap, I'm going to see if I can slide all four wires together. If I can slide four wires together, it's going to be kind of tricky. If I can do that, then I can just bend this one over, and then I don't have to do anything else. I'm going to try that first, and if they don't fit, then I'll have to, I'll have to splice two together again, then I've got three, then I can, then I can splice one together. Okay, it, this, this splice cap is barely fitting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of pliers. I'm just going to kind of hang on to this and twist back and forth and get it back in there. And I want to make sure my ground wires are situated such so that when I get it in there, they're still going to lay back there flat and tight. Okay, just, just grab it gently and slide it. Twist and slide. Twist and push. See, as you get it in there further, you've got, you got to push these back in there tight so you can get some more on there. Okay, so just keep doing that. Make sure you don't crimp it too tight or else you're not going to be able to slide it all the way in there. As you're getting that, some of these wires were used from before. So you got some bends on it and stuff, and it doesn't seem to want to go. So take your pliers and just kind of press all the ground wires together. You know, back and forth, then... Push it up there a little bit further, a little bit, a little bit, and you'll get it. Okay, as you're, push, as you're pushing it on there, you might kind of squeeze it and kind of bend it out of shape. And you got to re-bend it a little bit. Keep in mind, I think they have two different size splice caps. I think one, actually I know, one is a little bit bigger than the one I have. So if this doesn't work, you can put, you can do this with a bigger one. Okay, I, got, I have the splice cap all the way in the back. You see I've still got the three long ones, I've got the short one. 
I'm going to do the same thing with this one like I did the other ones. I'm going to cut it about an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch away from the end of the splice cap and I'm going to fold it over. Okay, I tricked you guys. That's why you got to watch the entire video. Once I get the splice cap on, even though it was, it was hard to get on, I'm first going to use my pliers and smash it on there as best I can, then fold the ground wire over, then smash that all together. Then there was three. We've got three ground wires. Now I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to grab the other ground wires in the back where the connection splice caps are and I'm going to gently tug on that, push on it and rearrange it with my pliers and push it into the back of the box. Okay, I've got everything pushed back in there and the ground wire uh, that I installed with the new wiring, I'm going to make sure that that particular one goes to the fan. That way I don't have any questions what's going on. So I know the fan's going to go over here, light switch is going to, and the two light switches are going to go here. So I'm going to reposition these ground wires towards the back of the box so that they come out in their respective areas. Okay, this is the proper position that you want the ground wires. I've repositioned them back there. Now the ground wires, um, they can touch anything in the box. This is a plastic box. If you used a metal box, you could do that too. Uh, this is just grounding the entire system. That's why they do not have uh, cabling, you know, plastic cabling coming over there. So it's okay if anything touches that. 